Now I've opened the audio meter LabVIEW project. Let me direct you to the location of the VI for the bar graph decoder that's based on a VHDL description. And let's also view the block diagram at the same time. This looks quite simple. We have the FPGA input pins. These are connected to an HDL node, as it's called. The HDL node generates eight outputs to drive the FPGA pins. All right, formerly called the HDL interface node. This is where we can configure the port connections and place the actual VHDL text. Now, I originally created a VHDL file for the bar graph decoder outside of, of LabVIEW. And this is the way I, I approached the design of this VHDL file to implement the desired functionality of the bar graph decoder. It has its input ports and output ports. And then in the architecture, I'm generating the eight outputs using a style based on Boolean style connectives. This is essentially the text version of the logic gates version that I showed earlier. So let me refer to that as we work our way through the lab use side of things here. All right, here's where you begin the process. First place the HDL node, then select properties. First thing we have is a parameter tab and this is where we specify the ports, the input and the output ports. Notice on my original version, I have the list of three input ports first and the eight imports, excuse me, eight output ports second. So let me turn again to the original. At this point, you simply double click, start typing. It will default to a Direct, uh, direction as an input and that's actually what we need for A0 through A2. Let me show you how you handle this for an output. Simply click on direction and select output. Just to save time I'll go ahead and repeat that process for all of the input and output ports that we need. Next select the code tab and you will notice that we have a number of panels, some of, of which are already filled in. In this case, I want to change the name of the entity to bar graph decoder. And if you look carefully, you start to recognize the various elements, such as entity, bar graph decoder is. Okay, that's appearing back here. Here we see some auto-generated text that happens just after that line. And then we see end bar graph decoder, and that corresponds to that point. Architecture, bar graph uh, of bar graph is, we see the correspondence in LabVIEW. Here we see the begin. Therefore, the only piece that I really need here is the actual process. I'll go ahead and paste that into this window here. You'll need to check the syntax. And if you debug this outside of LabVIEW, you, you still will find that this process will fail until you complete certain additional operations. But let's see what we've got. It says we have an error says that the type of output L0 is incompatible with the type of 1. You can also review the code that's actually being generated by LabVIEW 
So apparently it's a complaint associated with L0. Now it turns out that when we consider the auto-generated text right here, let's take a look at L0, it says that we have actually a, a vector for the output. And to have a vector style constant, we have to replace that with double quotes instead of a single quote. All right, looks like we've cleared everything except this where it says the enable out is not handled. Well, the enable chain, as it's called, is the mechanism by which an HDL node properly inter interacts with all of the other devices on the circuit. So when you look carefully at some of the auto-generated text here, it says that there's this line enable out needs to be defined. The others that I just highlighted there are all inputs. Now when you have the HDL node embedded inside a single cycle timed loop where we would just have a purely combinational circuit, then we can simply say that the enable out needs to be connected to the enable in. It's important to realize that this would be a little bit more complicated to write if we were dealing with a standard while loop.